Hello friends, in today's video we're gonna be changing the front brake pads and the front uh, brake vest sensor on this BMW 320 diesel. This is uh, E90 2009 model. We've got the brake warning light on the dash and uh, also when uh, we turn the ignition on we get this uh, lift sign on the, on the speedometer. This means that the brake uh, pads are completely worn out and the brake vest sensor needs uh, changing as well. On these uh, particular models, uh, so there's one brake vest sensor at the front and one at the back. So the front one is on the front left hand side and the rear one is uh, on the rear right hand side. Right friends, here we are, I've taken the wheel off. So we're going to change the brake pads as well as uh, change the brake vest sensor which is just uh, here. Okay, so there we go. It just goes uh, as I follow it with my camera. Okay, so there is a box at the back here under the wheel arch where where is uh, uh, connected. So to start off with, uh, we're gonna pull the brake wire sensor here. Okay, so I've tried to pull it. Okay, so I've tried to pull it and it just snapped. Okay, so that's our brake wire sensor. It was uh, so brittle that it just snapped. First thing we need to do is to remove this clip here. So we're going to take a flat edge screwdriver. There we go. Like that. And then same here. Like that. So the next bit is to release the caliper. And in order to release the caliper, we'll have to remove a bolt here and uh, one bolt under here two bolts just gonna just gonna use a flat edge screwdriver that's the top dust cap out of the way right so just gonna remove this uh, dust cap at the bottom there we go that's uh, the dust cap off so we can get to the guide pins now the bolts Right, so we're going to be using T45 bit to remove uh, caliper bolts. There we go, that's the top one out of the way. So what we're going to do is uh, with a flat head screwdriver, we're going to push it out like this, just like that. Again, with a flat at screwdriver, we're gonna push it up. Right, just gonna take the caliper off now. There we go, that's the caliper off. Okay, just gonna pull that in the brake pad that clips into the caliper piston itself there we go just gonna push the piston back so when you push the piston back make sure that the brake reservoir bottle cap is off That's the piston fully pushed in. There we are. So just gonna undo it to remove the winding tool out. There we go. That's the piston fully in. So just gonna pull up the outer pad. Okay. So before you put in new pads, make sure you use a wire brush or a flat edge screwdriver to clean this area where the new pads gonna sit. 
same on this side you can use a wire brush so make sure you clean the surface I'm gonna clean a bit. I'm gonna clean a bit with wire brush as well. <sighs> like this, so I'm gonna clean a bit with wire brush as well. I'm not gonna make a video of that. Right. So the inner pad slide in like this. There we go. Pass uh, the inner part fully home. Before I slide in the outer one, I'm gonna apply a little bit of grease on the edges here. Just here, a little bit. Same on this side. Not too much, just a little bit. Just gonna clean the excess of so the pad sits in like this. There you go. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull these guide pins out both sides one by one. Just gonna put some grease on these as well. So I'm just gonna slide it in here. Like that. Now this side. This grease is the high temperature grease. There you. Pass this side. Nicely greased up. Just going to slide it in here. Like that. Okay, it's just gonna what I'm gonna do before I slide in the pad I'm gonna clean the disc like this As I mentioned before, it's gonna scrape off any rust from it. You can use a flathead screwdriver or you can use a, a wire brush, small wire brush. And the inner side, inner here. Perfect, that's that done. Right. The pad comes in in place like this. Okay, and the caliper. Like this. Okay. There we go. Right, so that's the caliper nicely in place. the bottom guide pin the bolt I gonna scale first there we go that's that's that nicely scaled
Okay. There we go, that's the top bolt secured nicely. And now we're gonna put the dust cap back on. There we go. And the bottom dust cap just gonna clean excess grease. There we go. That's that nicely done. Okay, so the next bit is to remove uh, the brake light sensor. Okay. Right, so we're gonna remove this uh, clip here. And now, there we go. There we go, just gonna remove the clip on, on this side. Like this, we're gonna lift it all the way up. Okay, that's where the connector is. So I'm just gonna pull it out. There we go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna press this clip here. And that's how we're gonna pull the sensor out. Right, just gonna fit the new sensor, brake wire sensor. We got it for 10 pounds from our local shop. Right, so the way it fits in is like this. There we go. Push it all the way in. That's the connector nicely fitted. So we're gonna clip it in here, just like that. And then we're gonna push the cover back in. There we go. Pass the cover in place. Then we're gonna clip in this uh, side of the sensor here. All right. So it goes through here like this, and then we're gonna clip it in in here like that. There we go. That's clipped in here. That's how we're gonna clip it in here. Right, so next bit is to scale the cable here, like that. So then we're gonna slide in the sensor from here. Like that, there we go. That's the sensor nicely clipped in. Okay, friends. There we go, that's the brake wire sensor cable fitted nicely. So the last bit is to fit this clip here. There we go. That's the top bit skewed. I'm just gonna do the bottom one now. There we go. Just gonna push it in like that. Just to make sure that is fully home. There we go friends, that's the last bit done on this car, which was uh, this uh, clip here. So the brake pads fitted, the brake wire fencer fitted nicely. Thank you very much for watching the video.